In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your logo behind buildings and into your scene inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Photoshop and you've got your image imported, we first want to begin by figuring out where we want to put the logo. So I'm going to put my logo around here. So I'm going to go to the finder. I'm going to drag my logo into Photoshop. Just going to increase the size of this and I'm going to place it somewhere around here. So I want this to be clipping the bottom of the building. So we'll increase the scale and pop it around here. So essentially what I want is I want this part of the logo down here to be behind the building. So this is where we're going to cut part of this image out and place it on top of the logo. So we're just going to click this padlock icon to unlink the background, unlock that. Roughly remember where your logo is, so it's around here. Then we're just going to turn the logo off just so we can see what we're doing. We'll go up to the polygonal lasso tool and we're just going to cut around this part of the image. So around there, that should do. Then we'll go Command C, or if you're on a Windows computer, you want to go Control C, or you can just right click and copy that. Then you're going to go Command V or Control V, and that is going to copy that into its own layer. Now from here, we'll drag that on top. So that should be sitting on top of everything. Turn off the background layer, go into this layer only, and we're just going to get rid of the sky. So we're just going to go with the eraser tool and just get rid of that. So we're going to go over to the left. We're going to select the eraser tool. We'll go up to the size and we'll change the size to around 20. And then you want to make sure that the hardness is at 0%. And then we're just going to go around the edge of this building and just delete that sky there. So we're just going to go around here. Make sure you spend your time doing this. Make sure you do a really clean job because if you don't, then you're really going to see it in the logo overlay. Right, once you're happy with the look of that, you can now increase the size of your brush. So it going to increase to around 100 and we'll just delete the rest of the sky there. So essentially we started with a smaller brush so that we could get the precise edge along the top of the building and then we're increasing the brush to get rid of the rest of the sky. So that's about right. Now, once you've completed that, you can just turn all of your layers back on. And as you can see, the logo is now sitting behind the building. The problem is though, as you can see, I didn't do a great job of erasing that sky. So I'm going to go back into the eraser tool and then I'm just going to paint over that. So I'm just going to erase that. And as you can see, that now looks a lot better. So if we zoom out, you can now see the logo is sitting behind the building. Of course, we can stick that into the building more if we want to, or we could just leave it like this. But there you go. Once you've followed all of those steps and you've made sure that your background layer is at the very bottom, your logo is on layer two and the cropped part of the building is sitting on top of everything. You should now successfully see your logo hiding behind that building. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. I hope it was helpful and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.